out what they had said is in it, and they called us liars. But who was lying? We'll have the tape after the break. A couple of days ago, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez made the most basic mistake you can make in Washington. She said what she really thinks. In a fact sheet describing her proposed Green New Deal, Ocasio-Cortez's office wrote that her plan would send federal money to people who were, quote, unwilling to work. Now, that line drew some notice and some criticism, though, in fact, it's not entirely shocking. Sending tax dollars to people who don't feel like working has been a central tenet of the de Democratic program for a long time. But there's a difference between supporting something and stating it clearly out loud. And that was Ocasio-Cortez's sin. She said it out loud. Shh, said her superiors in the party. And Democrats immediately began pretending that it never happened. Fast forward to last Friday. We interviewed a man called Robert Hockett. He's been advising Ocasio-Cortez. That guy looks email. crazy as fuck. Now, Hawkins is a professor who occupies an endowed chair at Cornell Law School. So this guy went on and completely lied about the bill she put out. She put out a bill. We all went into the Wayback Time Machine. We went onto her her actual website where the frequently asked questions said, how are you going to pay for this? And uh, her response also had stated that... Uh, what did it, it also said that well they what what do they do they took off the uh, the part where it says that uh, people who are unwilling or who are unable to work would get pay this guy last week or like maybe it was just like three days ago said that uh no that's that's not that's what are you talking about that was made up it was a made up that was a made up plan that wasn't ours yeah it was we all went on the website we went to the wayback machine we looked you guys took it off the frequently asked questions. You guys are disgusting. It's socialism. You guys want $15 per hour minimum wage. And if anybody doesn't think that's gross, $15 minimum wage killed Seattle. They tried it in Seattle. Small businesses got killed. They couldn't afford it. It killed their businesses. They had to close down. Yep. Oh, it's not good. Trust me. Even if you're not overly impressed by credentials, and we're definitely not, that seemed like a reasonable job description, like he'd be a legitimate person. He's an Ivy League law professor. He must be sort of serious. Not the kind of guy who would tell obvious lies on live television. That was our thinking anyway. So we asked him, why is the U.S. government thinking about, or one of members of Congress are pushing, taxpayers to send money to people who don't want to work? And here was his response. We never would, right? And, and AOC has never said anything like that, right? I yes, think she you're did. Referring to some sort of a document. Yes, she did. Some, I think some doctored document that some other than us has been circulating. No, Bullshit. no, it's not embarrassing. It's not, it's not embarrassing. No, Tucker. We're no, 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 no. We're not embarrassed work, by what's not ours. No, Tucker. We're not embarrassed by what's not ours. No, Tucker. We're not embarrassed by what's not ours. Okay. 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 It's yours, so and you're embarrassed by it. These people lie straight through their teeth. And we did get to the bottom of it. So, in case that exchange confused you, the professor's position was simple. Ocasio-Cortez never suggested the government ought to pay people who won't work. She That's did. That's absurd. She Another did. right-wing lie. Well, various progressive news organizations with air quotes around and picked up that interview. See, they said, Fox News got fact-checked. Yeah, bullshit. Even Ocasio-Cortez herself suggested as much on Twitter. The only problem, Professor Hockett was lying. Yep. So was Ocasio-Cortez. They lie so good, too, don't they? She called for subsidies to those, quote, unwilling to work. We did not make that up. We didn't make any of it up, including the part about banning fossil fuels in 12 years. Casio Cortez said that too. Let's go back to another exchange we had with the professor. Here it is. There's nothing about well, getting I rid have. of anything. It's about expanding menu options, right? I mean, there are many, many things we want to be able to do now in addition to what we already do. So, what's, so where's the airplane disappearance? First off, look at this guy's hair. Can you trust a dude with hair like that? Sorry. I base my factors upon which I can trust people on first glance and first, uh, you know, how I can look at them. And sorry, I look at this dude and he's not trustworthy. What kind of hairstyle is that? <laughs> it's coming from. I'm not really clear on where that uh, originated. Well, so what you're saying is right. we're not getting rid of fossil fuels actually, even though you just said yes. we were. Because no, no, we're rendering them obsolete for most purposes that are used for now, right? <laughs> but air that's travel just... is a huge <laughs> okay. source, but a that's huge like, source. Hence the word most. 
Oh, my God. Well, Kaiser Cortez's staff has since removed the fact sheet entirely from our office website. And yep. they're telling the rest of us to read the actual resolution. It's like a scavenger. Yeah. Okay, so we right? did that. We read the actual resolution. Yeah. And it turns out there's no substantive difference between the two. Casio Cortez's resolution, the official one, which is right here, guarantees economic security to, quote, all the people of the United States, end quote, whether they want to work or not. It also calls for free education and rebuilding, quote, all existing buildings in the country and a lot of other things. <laughs> Rebuild all the now, buildings. The oh, okay. The sober people would laugh at a proposal. <laughs> Look at that this face. Make sense. They would also, by the way, question God, Ocasio such Cortez's a... fitness oh, my for moral Lord. judgment of any kind. Keep in mind that she won her primary in New York with an openly racist campaign. Openly racist. She attacked her opponent for the color of his skin. That's the definition of a racist campaign. But whatever. Casio Cortez has three million Twitter followers now. Democrats have to take her seriously. Watch <laughs> poor Chris Murphy, the senator from Connecticut over the weekend, pretend these ideas make imminent sense. I think it's absolutely realistic, and I frankly think we need to set our sights high. I think there are a lot of people who said that it wasn't realistic for the United States to get a man on the moon by the end.